Okay, so I only got, let me see. Um, Leo, Virgo, and I don't know, Aquarius. Okay, Leo, Virgo, and Aquarius. Let me put this down so I can know now. Leo, <laughs> Virgo, Aquarius. So I'm gonna be looking through these cards trying to figure out who I got to do now. Okay, when it gets down to the bottom three, it kind of takes a while for me to um find these signs, but please just bear with me. All right, so whatever sign this is though, you're starting something without finishing the next cycle, the, the last cycle up completely. Okay, you might have to do that, okay? You might have to just travel up out of this situation the way that you are to be in a real relationship because you could have probably been with dealing with somebody that was purposely trying to hold you back, okay? And you know it. They were manipulating you, using your children to get back at you, higher commitment in inner child. Yeah, because they knew that you you had some healing to do from your childhood, okay? So they were trauma bonding you. They had you feeling like you were stuck to them possibly because you had kids with them. I just seen a sign right there. Hold on. Um, and so somebody had to sneak their way up out of a situation. That might have been Taurus because I just got done with Taurus. Yeah, it was Taurus. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Taurus. Okay. At one point in time, you wanted forever with this person, but you seen you had a lack of support from them when he came to this situation. So you have to focus on yourself. Instead of focusing on them or focusing on this relationship like you did. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We got Sagittarius and Taurus in this mix. Somebody's wearing the false appearance. Um, it could even be a Cancer in this mix. You could have Cancer in your chart. Somebody might somebody's even thinking about going spending money on shopping. Some of you guys, wow, something <laughs> some of you guys have been sexually frustrated, so you've been thinking about spending on whatever it is that makes you happy. I'ma put it like that, okay? That's it. I'ma just leave that at that. Forgive. So somebody want forgiveness from you though. I don't know if you're gonna give it to them. Could it be somebody at a long distance from you? You feel like you need to stay away from this person though. But um it could be an Aries. You feel like you need a vacation from them because yeah, isolation, breadcrumbing, because you feel like this person is breadcrumbing you. They're not telling you the truth. Why are you trying to scare me? But they're going to pray on it because it's going to be some type of unexpected change that comes about as well, too, with this person. Y'all, look, they missing you. Somebody is also getting readings on somebody. <laughs> So this person, if somebody's getting readings on somebody to see what they're doing, who they're with, like the progress. Somebody is stalking you through readings. I just seen a sign. Where'd that go? Leo. Wow, Leo. So somebody is stalking you through getting readings. Yeah, somebody's trying to juggle you. It's going to be an ending, though. Ooh, weird. Somebody is ashamed and regret. Somebody's going to be ashamed and regret for trying to juggle you the way that they did as well, too. Somebody was trying to play games with you. Okay, an offer. It was offer of money. Somebody tried to send you a fake offer just to take your money. And now they see that you're very independent since you're moving on or trying to move on from somebody. But now this person is obsessed with you and can't stop getting readings on you. 
Yeah, somebody's also secretly watching you. Okay, recording you as well too. Wow, so you have a stalker in your house that's sitting up watching you. Some of you guys, this person has attacked your, your iPhone, especially if you have iPhone, your text messages. They put up cameras in your house or something of that nature, tracking devices on your car, but you're being stalked, Leo. Yes, you are. Okay, and they're very, very spiteful because you're moving on. And they know that you are soon about to be in a relationship. Some of you guys, it is a Libra that is very spiteful towards you. Because they see you're moving on. And they possibly then got a reading and seen that you're about to be in a relationship with somebody new. And it's not them. Okay. Yeah, there's some clarity that's about to come. Or this person has gotten some type of clarity that you have moved on. What's going on with my Libras? Four of Pentacles. I said Libras. I meant to say Leo. So a Libra for sure then took over y'all energy. <laughs> they holding on tightly to you for Pentacles. Some of you guys are like hiding out. Some of you guys are just focused on preserving yourself, holding back your energy, stacking your money, saving for the real one, for the lovers, for your real soulmate. Okay, this person feels like they are holding on to you because you are their soulmate. Could be a Gemini in here, but then look at here, look at what I cut it on. Justice in reverse could be a Libra in here, but somebody feels like this situation is off balance. It's one sided. Somebody feels like somebody only cares about their needs and not your needs, okay? Or vice versa. You only care about your needs and not their needs. So what's this for? Pentacles for my Leos? Knight of Cups sideways. See, somebody is very, very much childish. They don't know if they want to love on you, love on you, or hate on you. The Tower, and because of that, it's going to be a Tower moment because this person is indecisive. You don't want to heal this situation. You could be dealing with a lead uh, uh, Aquarius, but you feel like it's best that you heal yourself from this lies and this betrayals because somebody is shifty and somebody's immature. It's best that you move on and heal yourself, okay, and release this situation because you see clear as day. It's time to work on yourself for this new beginning. And it's, this is ending. This is done. You're going through some type of transformation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You feel like this person does bad money business, okay? That this person just wants you for your money. They're only holding on to you for your finances. You feel like they're not to be trusted. Then you're focused on this new beginning that you have your way. You feel like this person is only coming towards you to take from you. They only see you as a financial gain. What is this for, Pemacruz? What is this for Pentacles? Strength. You're finding the courage and the strength to tame yourself and move forward from this situation. Okay, the High Priestess in reverse and King of Swords in reverse. So some secrets is coming out. Somebody was being manipulative. Okay, they was lying. They weren't telling the truth. Somebody could even have mental issues. This person was never here to work and collaborate with you at all. They was not here to work on it. They was not here to help you out. They was not here to collaborate with you. They was just here to take from you and to keep you in a third party situation. To keep you in lies and betrayals. Okay, it's time for you to leave the path behind. This person was only holding on to you for a financial gain. What's going on with my Leos? Yeah, this person thought the grass was greener on the other side and possibly stepped out of their relationship just to come to you to take the money from you. Yeah, it's complicated. I'm only yours. What the fuck? Okay, so now this person wants to come out and let you know it's complicated. I am only yours because you're moving on to this new beginning. You got the money that's coming your way. Yeah. But guess what? Hello, stand your ground. Please stand your ground. Don't let this person take away from you or lie to you. What's going on? with my Leos. Hello, I'm going to leave it like this. This person is a narcissist. Like I said, they only care about their needs, not yours, or vice versa. Somebody is a narcissist. I'm going to leave it right there like that. I love you guys so much. Take care.